I'm Big Jim. And I'm Ryan Miller. From Three Count Thursday, and you are listening to... PBR Podcast. That was amazing. Team effort. Hit it. What's up, everybody? PBR Podcast, Mike Plano, Derek T. We got two very special guests. They're part of the We Clan, though, unfortunately. All the, the way. We. The We. The we, uh, Women's yeah. Entertainment? It's they. No, not that. Like, we, they're, we're part of the team. Oh. You're not part of the team, guys. We. You're no, they. No, I was, well, I was team they. Are you? You are big team. Yeah, well, then I'm going to say Ryan Miller and Big Jim. See, I did, I did Ryan Miller first, you even though you're on my I right. Sure. Best and, for and last. You're, and you're a two timer on this show. I am That's a two timer. Right. Right, but now it's all about Ryan Miller. Well, thank you. My first episode, Lost in the Abyss. Wait, yeah. what's the dude's name with Macklemore? <laughs> that's story. Oh, that's Not Ryan Lewis. Of you, Never mind. No. Mac- Mac- Macklemore the rapper? Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. I, I, so it's Big Jim and Ryan, Mo- uh, Ryan Miller. Ryan, I, I'm going to get this out of the way right away. Do you know Derek D was a Slim Shady and he was in a boy band? It was called Menergize. How does he at the end of the day? I, I was told about that on the write-up. I was supposed <laughs> to say that you're in a boy band. It wasn't Menergize. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I got beat you too. I'm was, sorry. Uh, no, I felt him in. It told was, me. was it Seth Rogen? No, Joe Rogan. Oh, Seth Rogen. Now <laughs> Joe you're Rogan. Dead. That's what it was. <laughs> we went from boys to you're a dickhead. Uh, like, see that? Well, I wore the hat, so I was a dickhead uh, when I walked uh, in here. It was mixed results with a Z. It was It was yeah, mixed results. Menergize. Menergize. You ever? Uh, you ever were you ever in a boy, uh, boy band, Ryan? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's funny that the boy band thing, the Three Count Thursday name of our podcast actually comes from a faction of a boy band. We can get to that later if you want. No, let's get into that right now. We'll but, talk yeah, about it's, it. It's talk- ridiculous. What what boy band? Uh, it's it was it's the wrestling faction boy band called Three Count. And W from called. WCW. There was a boy band, a wrestling group that was their gimmick. Is they were a boy band. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and it was God, uh, Shannon Moore. Sugar Shane Helms and and Evan Courageous. Evan Courageous. Right. Is is was do, is WCW still around? No, no. WWE bought them in two thousand one uh, okay. or something okay. like Cause that. Because WCW was kind of like the one that just never. It was it was it was got big names, but it never reached WWF or WWE. Well, there was a time in the mid nineties where they it got big. for like eighty some weeks had beaten WWE in ratings, and then I think the turning point was when three count. Was three count. <laughs> was they when boy band round. It was WWE great. used to pre-tape every other episode of Raw, and WCW was live every week. And there was one week where WCW revealed that Mankind Mick Foley was gonna was winning the WWF title on Raw. So he's like, "You can just stay watching with us," but it backfired because everybody turned over, and then they like fell in love with WWF again, and that was like that's the turning point. Now WWE, uh. th- that they had like uh, the NWO, right? That when Hogan went bad, Is WCW. That, that yeah. was WCW. Yeah. Right? So they did. They pulled some big names. Oh, that was. Oh yeah. That was WCW. WCW? Oh yeah. Because I was I was Hollywood Hogan for you Halloween. Were, you that were. was when he was with WCW. WCW. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So it was pretty big. Hmm. I mean, it still doesn't compare to, to the, the WWF. I can't talk tonight, man. I'm like I'm stuttering all over. That my was me all day. Today. It's all right. Yeah, we know we know about the. Yeah, I have a sh- Brian, you know about my friend Yulm? No, I'm sticking out my tongue right now. I have a short. <laughs> 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 it's not funny. People make fun of it, but uh, you know, whatever. Speech impediment, sixty percent. But um, WWE still is on top, man. It's oh, it's like king. Old school. Do you remember the cartoon? Yes. Oh yeah, like, Hulk Hogan's. A, yeah. uh, Oh, what the heck was that called? Oh, I don't remember what it's called. It was probably yeah. called WWF, right? But it was like good versus evil, and like on the evil side was uh, was uh, the the Iron Sheik and uh, Dr- uh, who was the big Russian Nikolai, Nikolai Volkov, Nikolai Volkov, Volkov. Volkov yeah. right? And they had all the bad guys and then the good guys. I wanted I wanted to ask you this before when we were eating some delicious Johnny Gianni's pizza, Gianni's Pizzeria dot com. Check it out. Um, <clears throat> we actually do have pizza. Before the show, sometimes. Um, yeah. How long? It seems like uh, in wrestling, and I don't know if it's so much any more than it used to be when we were kids, but it's like whatever the war is at the time is like the bad guy in WWE was like Nikolai Volkov or the Iron Sheik. Right. How long until there's like an ISIS, like a, an Arab? <laughs> well, back with wearing a back wrestler, right, yeah. right, right around nine yeah. eleven or shortly after nine eleven, they had was it uh, uh, Muhammad Hassan? Muhammad Hassan, really? And, and he came yeah. out. Um, and then a couple years ago when we were like kind of battling Russia, they had a guy who was from Bulgaria, but he defected to Russia and he came out and like declared his love for Vladimir Putin. And they would always put up a picture of Vladimir Dude, Putin so up they, on the screen. I guess you got to play on that. A yeah. Little bit. I think WWE and, and, you know, we had on, uh, a long time ago, we had like season one of this show we had on, um, 
David Kreisman, who was a writer for the WWE. Mm-hmm. And he was also a, an Emmy Award winning writer for As the World Turns or one of, one of those like brilliant. <laughs> well, it's both the same soap shit, operas, man. exactly. Right? Yeah. But but like they keep very timely with like what's going on in the world. It's very easy to pull characters from that. But well, is it too soon? Uh it's pr- right now it's probably too soon. Yeah, but I, if it if it kind of like if it kind of settles down a little bit. I'd say what six months they'll right. have. I, I can see WrestleMania 2016. It's like some French douche, super like off the top ropes onto ISIS, ISIS. who's wearing a backpack. <laughs> but his name's like I C E S. It's spelled different. Yeah. Jones or something. Yeah. Like, Jones, ISIS, Jones, Jones, ISIS Jones. <laughs> like what, the himself. French guys on the top of the ropes. What does he say to the crowd? <laughs> I do that. <laughs> what, what's what's Char- that? With Charlie? Right. What was the saying? What was Charlie do? What was it? Uh, Vive la France! Uh, <laughs> Vive la France! Frankie, where's Dennis? What was the saying with Charlie do? I am Charlie. Uh, oh, well, there you go. Oh, uh, that's it. Yeah. yeah that's kind of a showstopper. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they had the French team there for a while. Was it uh, La Resistance? Yeah, yeah back when like, if France there. wasn't going to war with us, that was back in like two. Oh, they did have a France. So watch, they'll, they'll come back. What is on the television right now? Uh, we're the Rangers around. So. Yeah. It was a weird commercial. Sorry. So, guys, thank you so much for coming out. We really appreciate it. Uh, what was it? It was a little bit of a, a journey. Um, Ryan, how did you stand being in the car with Jim for that long? I took a nap. <laughs> how long is that ride? <laughs> it was about two hours. Yeah, oh, it's not two, bad. Two hours. Who drove? Who drove? I Jim drove. Did. I right. took a nap. Well, he took a nap. <laughs> I hope he. Oh, I sure hope he wasn't driving. <laughs> he I'm not sure that then yeah. Tesla Model S. Yeah. No, we were actually listening to a podcast on the way in, and uh, I was up uh, ass crack at dawn today. Uh, like 4.30 to get to work Aish. on a late night. Uh, last night coming off the pay-per-view we just watched, so I knew I was tired. He's like, oh, I'm tired too. And I'm like, shut up, you're driving. But yeah, it was. Uh, I, t- I took a little nap. I just, I just. Nothing wrong with that, man. Let me ask you this. You guys ever wrestled? Like, did you wrestle in high school? Like, actually? No, like, I never like, did. Like in gym class. Yeah, not in like. Gym class. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys no. want to wrestle right now? I, I'm going to pass on that. Yeah. <laughs> really? He'd probably, he'd probably throw up or we'd probably both like. No, out. not like I feel like if we did a tag Just team, like Der- Derek and I versus you, what? Two, I feel like we are f- we're screwed. <laughs> Done. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Kidding me? I think well, you guys are more athletic than we are. You might. You. We're, we're bigger than you. There's you no doubt about that. Yeah. You guys definitely ate more than Derek weighs today. <laughs> oh, lunch. certainly. At Wegmans. Certainly. Absolutely. At Wegmans. <laughs> you know That's what, what we're gonna buy that much food tomorrow. At Wegmans. <laughs> it blows my mind. Like First time ever in one. Oh, it's, great. It's, it's crazy, right? And by the way, if you go to DerekD.com, you can see he has his uh, height and weight listed on there. I don't. But anyway, <laughs> Wegmans is a great store. We should get them as a sponsor, too. But in the meantime, GiannisPizzeria.com. All right. So uh, for those people who don't know, uh, Jim and Ryan do a, a wrestling show. Right? It's called Three Count Thursday. Mm-hmm. Where, can we, uh, where can they stalk you right now? They're listening on their phone. They have Twitter open. Uh, you can go to – you can go follow us on Twitter and Instagram, Three Count Thursday, Facebook.com, slash Three Count Thursday. Uh, we are on uh, NGSC Sports is where you can find our shows or iTunes. So how how did it all how did it all start, man? I know I know Jim that you're a big sports fan. How did you uh, you guys hook up and how did it all become? We've been friends for ever. I think it's probably the easiest way to describe it. Yeah, probably. Um, Went to high school together. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 High school, middle high school, school, broadcasting. Yeah, it took broadcasting, broadcasting together. Was really in high the school. big thing that put right us on. together was the broadcasting. Yeah. And then uh, I started doing a sports podcast almost three years ago. And then a year and a half ago, before WrestleMania and stuff, before some of the big pay-per-views, I would have Ryan come on and we would talk wrestling. We'd talk about the upcoming pay-per-view. And finally, like WrestleMania last year, which had been like last March, I was like, why don't we just start doing a wrestling show? Like there's tons of wrestling podcasts. We talk about wrestling all the time. Let's just do a separate one. And that's where it started. And in the last eight months, it's it's by and large overtaken everything. I've actually stopped, at least temporarily, doing the the Tuesday sports show because three count Thursday is like engulfing everything. I mean, it's huge. Wrestling is huge. You know, it's enormous. It's, it you got you Derek, you and your your band of of gypsies who are all in their mid thirties <laughs> were wrestlers for Halloween, like right? Oh yeah, yeah. Me what do you think I was talking about? I don't know what you were talking. I was waiting, to, waiting to get to the punchline. Energize? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's mixed results with a Z. Results. Um, anyway, yeah, me and my buddies were all wrestlers, and I was, um, I was Highwood Hogan. We had Macho Man Randy Savage. We had the Boss Man. We had a uh, Brett the Hitman Hart. We had a uh, John Cena, uh, the, the the Nature Boy Ric Flair. 
there's there's the Kane. There's a bunch. You guys think cool. that like everybody he named is pretty much from the glory days, right? Like, do you think except for John Cena, he's current. Kane is Ultimate current. Warrior was there. Yeah, Warrior, yeah. Uh, there wasn't like no one was like Hackshaw, Jim Duggan, or or like those guys. Do you think the characters were better in the '80s, '90s than they are now? It's a shame nobody dresses up like Hacksaw Jim Duggan anymore. People don't dress Just up. Don't right? get no, no no respect for Hacksaw. All you do is got to rock oh, like a speedo oh, and hold a two by four. You wear what a blue, blue underwear and blue yeah. boots and a, and a and a two Carry by a two four. By four. Be a cheap costume. <laughs> yeah. cheap costume. I don't know if the characters, uh, Ryan, you can touch on it, but I don't know if the characters were better then. I, I think it was just different. Like I think years ago, it, it, you, you could have more. I don't want to say like cartoony, but you could have more like outlandish or or where now a lot of it is reality. I think more reality based. Not everybody, but more reality based. Yeah, you could have more gimmicks back then. You don't I mean, have they, like they had yeah. a, a, a garbage man for God's sakes. <laughs> who was that one again? Duke the Dumpster Drossy. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the Repo Man. Repo Man who just oh, came repo out man. and repossessed things. Mounty. I right, mean, like everybody had a job. Right, right. right it was a job. It was Rick very the job Model oriented. Martell carried the can of arrogance. Yeah, man, and, and then you had like you had a manager that came out with you. Like, uh, uh, what was his name with the bullhorn? Man? Oh, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Hart, Hart. Jimmy Hart. Jimmy Hart. and the lovely, the talented Elizabeth. Right. right. Is that Jimmy Hart, real nice guy. Actually, just met him. Yeah, we met him months back this summer. Does he look the same? Still got him exactly the same. the same. Really, all party yeah. in the front business. In the, in the oh, it's with, yeah, uh, it's exactly sorry, the other. same. <laughs> totally I don't know if that. his hair is real though, <laughs> but <laughs> it might not be real. But oh. I got to hold the bullhorn, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's great. Nice. Uh, and now they don't have that, right? So it's like, uh, no. What about like the Undertaker? There's no. It's all just names. Anymore. He's you there. Know, he was John just on Cena, G- Roman Reigns. It's all names. Is the Rock come back at all? Every now and again, you know, he he makes an appearance. The most electrifying. There. Well, you like my shirt, right? That is real. It doesn't matter if you like my shirt. You got me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, but there are rumors that The Rock is going to wrestle at WrestleMania this he year. He should, man. He's good. Didn't he kind of like rejuvenate the sport when he came back? Oh, yeah. Well, and kinda... Him and Austin and those guys. Back. Oh, yeah. What's, what, what's up with uh, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin? Is he still doing it? What's his? No, he's done, right? He's pretty much done. Does he, he show up every now done. and then? or He does a podcast. Does yeah. he really? Uh, yeah. What the hell is it even called? Stone Cold Podcast. Stone Cold Podcast. Okay, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Stone Cold Podcast. Do you think if uh, if they do, if the WWE does sneak in this ISIS character, has it spelled? I C E S. I mean, I think I ISIS think this, Jones. ISIS Jones is, is going to be in 2016. I think we have the perfect uh, soup, the hero, the people's hero, um, Donald Trump. And I feel like if Donald Trump was on the top ropes, he would probably say something like, Let me tell you something. <laughs> You're going to go down. It's going to be fantastic. What I'm going to do is jump on you, hit you with a gold mallet, boom, send you back to Mexico. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> Don, Don, Don uh, I, don't think WW, I don't think that uh, WrestleMania is in Mexico this year. Shut up, Mike. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, it's not. Where is it this year? Huge. It's, it's in Dallas. It's in Dallas, which, but matter of fact, it's on the border. Let me tell you not something. on the border. Mike. It's by Close Mexico. Close enough. Okay. What we're going to do is build a huge wall around the ring and see if those Mexican jumping beans to just get right over it. Then suplexes all day. Trump. Yeah, <laughs> sixty. <laughs> oh, it's so terrible. It's Trump doesn't stand a chance. But it, I mean, I got to be honest. Not to beat a dead horse. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know wh- where this episode falls in the lineage. So maybe I am beating a dead horse. Maybe I'm not. Maybe you're not. But Trump does have a tag team partner. Who's that? <laughs> it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh yeah, right. I'm sure. So like you know, they're talking smack before to Mean Gene Austin, <laughs> and what, what are they saying? Oh. Ah, oh, listen, mean Gene. What I'm going to do is with your head and squeeze it hard and right into the mat, and then after that, Donald will throw gold dust in your face. <laughs> <laughs> That's his weapon. It's gold dust, yeah. and he pulls it out of his quaff. <laughs> right? <laughs> My weapon. I throw these little dolls that look like maids right at you. Oh, don't and sleep with your maid. The thing is that they're not really uh, they're not really doll, dolls, Arnold. Those are actually little Mexican yeah. ma- women. <laughs> <laughs> To the, the, the Mexican babies. They just look smaller to you because you're giant. Because I'm a gigantic man. Yeah, they, they look like babies. We throw them. Do you put Donald on the wall? Or how does he get up on the wall? On my shoulders. <laughs> and then you just flex? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ryan, you didn't know that we had uh, f- you know celebrities like, such as Donald Trump and Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, we, we don't have any of that stuff on our pod. We're <laughs> no. so bush league. It's not <laughs> we, even funny. We are. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Donald and then... And, uh, I Donald mean, has a record at WrestleMania, doesn't he? Oh, I mean, he was, right? He, was. he does. He was in, uh, was it Lashley's? Uh, really? I think, maybe. Don't yeah, he, 
He was in Lashley's corner, and I forget who. It was the hair versus hair match. That's right, right. At yeah. WrestleMania 23. I'm going out. Listen, I'm going out on a limb right now. I'm, I'm telling everybody that PBR supports Donald Trump. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> he was, I had no idea he was he fought, he got in the ring. No, he was like he was the him and Vince McMahon like they they picked a guy in the back and it was a hair versus hair match. That is unbelievable. <laughs> That's and, awesome. and Trump obviously his guy won and Vince McMahon had to get his head it was shaved. Umaga. Trumped yeah. him. Yeah. It was Maya. But also he was WrestleMania's 4 and 5 were at the Trump Plaza down at in Atlantic City. Which is no longer no it's boardwalk still there. hall. It's still no, there, right? Still there. It's boardwalk, still there. boardwalk arena or boardwalk yeah, hall. Yeah, yeah, where the bullies play. Yeah, right. Yeah. Are they yeah. still play there? The bullies are a, like I'm a minor sure. league hockey team. I know. Oh. That, I know they had disbanded a couple of years ago, but I'm not sure if they're back. That whole town is kind of disbanded. Yeah, it's kind of what I heard. Right? What do you see? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, it, When's the last time you went down there? Was it- I almost went down last weekend. I went uh, no, a couple months ago, I guess. I don't know. It's still fun. I like the trap. Uh, where God is cool here and there. I mean, how come they haven't had a large event? In, I mean, they don't have the UFC down there. They, they don't have uh, any major heavyweight boxing matches there. WWE's not there. Like, you know, what's going on? Like, why did, did that uh, never happen? All your all your major events are happening in North Jersey, right? Prudential Center. Yeah, that's true, too, yeah. The Garden. I mean, uh, the, the Borgata has a pretty big... Uh, not, a, not of course not an arena, but a big theater in there. Yeah, but the Revel is like closed down right now. Imagine, have you ever been in there? Were you I ever in there? Never went. Have you in. never been in there? It must be amazing, like what it, like just an empty, huge, beautiful casino. Like what it's, it must be eerie as hell in there. Like it's just empty. That's gotta be. That's gotta be kind of freaky. I bet there's homeless living in it. No, the guy, the the, the dude who owns it was gonna put Syrian refugees in there. Stop. Yeah. No, it's like how do you whoa. feel about that? It's like wait a second, we have homeless, tons of homeless people right here in America that that could use yeah. a place to stay for. That's a good point, man. It's like what? Yeah, exactly. Like you, you just screen them first, don't just throw random people in there. But we have homeless people. It's crazy. I think you should figure out a way to take care of both. Like I mean, can't you think that with a country such as ours, you think you'd be able to help out both? You want to bring the refugees to New Jersey? I don't know. We live in Pennsylvania. <laughs> here's, here's Your my, state's actually one of the only states that uh, yeah we have the open door policy. It. Yeah. Here, here, here's an analogy, and I'm not saying I'm for or against. I mean, I just you have a bowl of the best cherries you could ever eat in your life, the most wonderful tasting, beautiful cherries you will ever eat in your life, and um, you know, four of them are absolutely poisonous, deadly. You would die immediately if you ate one. <clears throat> would you let your kids just eat out of that bowl? It's the worst analogy ever. Why? I if, we if, there's, if there's people that want to kill people within a bunch of people, yeah, you say, all right, well, so you let your kid eat, well, eat dig his hand in and then pick out a no, chair. No, no. I'm just saying. I, no, I, I don't. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not saying they're all bad. I'm saying they're, they're very quite possibly there's, bad ones in you're there. You're saying because of the potential. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So you're don't, not saying don't eat cherries. No, no. Because some cherries are good. <laughs> cherries are delicious. No, they're very delicious. They are delicious. I'm just saying... In this scenario, four of them are... What about, like, cherry poison. ice? Can We're talking about cherry... I don't know, man. Come on. If you put it in a pie, is it still <laughs> dangerous? Oh, no, once you heat it up, it they're dead, out, so it it's out. fine. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't, I don't wouldn't know. You, wouldn't you in just inspect the cherries really well? They all yeah, exactly I would. Same. I would. I have no problem with inspecting the cherries, but I don't want to inspect the cherries in New Jersey. I want to inspect the cherries at, like, maybe, I don't know, say Guantanamo. Yeah, maybe, yeah. So inspect them there and then maybe bring them here? Like, uh, sure, and okay. then the, the bad ones, you throw them out. Okay. I'd have, I'd have no problem Mainly with that. Mainly women and ki- kid cherries <laughs> can... <laughs> why? Are you, see, yeah, I don't understand why they even have to come here at all. Like, because why my question can, is, why does the homeless vets matter now? Why didn't they matter a couple months ago? No, they should no, always matter. That, that's what was, that was my. They concern. should always matter. Right? Yeah, I, I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot right. of that. Like it's we like have a ton of homeless. Why, why do you? Why do you only care about the, the homeless people here now? I mean, you know, I don't understand why all these people with veterinarian degrees are homeless. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with that? And are we still talking you about cherries? Would, you think they would be able to get good <laughs> jobs as vets? Right. They have all of that schooling. I know. They know how to take care of animals. Yeah. I know. And yet they're homeless. Although, and, and on, a, on a serious note, in the city. I'm seeing more and more homeless people on the streets than there was <clears throat> when I guess Bloomberg and Giuliani were in there. Like of there's course. more and more yeah. and more. And I, I swear some of them I just 
there's there's one group there's like it's like that their house is getting bigger and bigger and it's rotating people mm -hmm. i see which is strange to me aliens or a little conglomerate to uh, i don't know do, what do you do with those cherries what did Bloomberg do? I don't know. What did he do? To, what it worked? I don't know. He took him off the streets. I, you probably don't want to know what he did. I was gonna say that there, there may be a, but they may have done bad things. I don't know. No, I mean, I think I think they put him in like shelters and tried to get him back on the feet or work. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I heard like what programs, like what people should I feel do. Like now, the programs don't. They're not really existent. That's why there's more and more. I don't know. I, I think we're we're just screwed in general. Like everybody's offended by everything. If somebody's listening to this podcast right now, going, "Oh my god!" I, yeah. I my grandfather grows cherries. He has cherry trees all over. <laughs> you got their like, cherry, cherry trees. They're not poisonous. They're, they're, they're really not. They're not. Sometimes Susie gets poisonous ones, but then Sarah throws the them worst away. is the diarrhea that you're gonna get. But that's it. <laughs> and I'm so that. offended now. Like, oh my god! It's so true though. Like every we were talking, I was talking about that today with a couple people. We watched this video. It was like people making fun of that. It was like, no, we don't have any names anymore. Um, we can't refer to it, and it was just everyone's offended by everything. It's yeah. so annoying. You know what I'm I, like? What I, I'm offended by is people blowing shit up. It offends me. Don't so I don't want any more people coming in and they're gonna blow shit up. Yeah, that offends. Fair me. enough. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Right? Because like you could, I don't care who you're talking to. You could talk to anybody who's like so like pro bring in the refugees. Right? The second some shit blows up. Get what, him, they're gonna be like, get what, him out. What are they gonna say? Right, yeah, they're exactly. be the first one screaming, man. Sure. I don't know. We all saw Troy. I didn't see Troy. You didn't see Troy. You should, you should watch Troy. Read the book. I saw Troy Aikman. You know what happens? He was great. <laughs> he was a good quarterback. <clears throat> you know what happens in Troy? The Trojan horse. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Off Here's time. a gift, dead. <laughs> <laughs> we've seen this we know how it goes down i don't know and there's bigger problems man it's like uh what's going on in the world now is like we remember when we were the badasses like when we were the ones that policed everything yeah yeah well who's over in syria right now with uh, 150,000 troops on the ground you know kicking ass and that's the russians yeah putin don't give a shit he don't care, <laughs> he man. Don't care. so i don't know it's because over here everything like there's the right and there's the left. Nobody gets along, so you can't get anything done. It's so stupid, too. It's like, just I don't know. I don't understand. I, just, I don't get it. Like, my wife and I were talking about it this weekend, and it's like, I don't understand how people expect anything to get done or anything to change. Like, everybody's talking about 2016 and Carson and Trump and Hillary. And I said, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It yeah, doesn't it almost matter. doesn't matter. I was at a, I was at the bar two weeks ago, and there was a, it was with some people I work with, and they were all like 21, 22, 23, and they're just going off about politics, and I'm just sitting back, like, laughing. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, I hope I wasn't that obnoxious with 10 years you ago. You probably were. I probably we was. I are a little bit now, think, too. No. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we I don't are, think we were. You it don't think so, man? No, man. No, we all were. But I think, I, no, honestly. We, we canvassed, we canvassed, like, neighborhoods. We went to college together, and, yeah. And, yeah, I mean, spreading the word of, of, of the tickets and everything like that. Like, we definitely... Were those people? Yeah. Like it, we, we, our vote mattered, and and things like that. And yeah. I'm not saying your vote doesn't matter, but it doesn't probably matter. doesn't matter. I just think, like honestly, social media and the media is, is screwing everything. Up. I, I just feel, I just feel like we're not the country that we used to be, nor are we going to be the country that we were ever again. And you have like, like, Put, like talk about Putin, and I'm going to sixty percent this man, um, which means mostly bullshit. Ryan. Okay, all right. No. <laughs> Putin got up in front of like Parliament. And it's probably not even called parliament in Russia, but I think it's like his parliament. And he, he made a speech, and it was a really short speech. And basically what Putin said was, listen, uh, we are going to maintain the Russian way of life. If you come here and you don't speak Russian, you should probably learn to speak Russian. We speak Russian in Russia. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to... We're not going to cater to your, and I think he's used the term Muslim, but we're not going to cater to Muslim needs or to anybody's needs. We're going to preserve... Russian life, okay, and the way of our of our people, and that's uh, it's interesting, man. He's the only person standing up and saying that. And you could say what you want about it, but next, I think it's in the next five years, like the UK, and we have some fans uh, out in the UK, right? So yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, but the, I think Muslims will be the my the the uh, majority in the UK in the next five years, or like France or something, yeah, and France, I think, I think so, right? Yeah. Something like that, uh, something like that. So I don't know. It's like you got to preserve your way of life. Now in yeah, America, it's different because we're say, all not from here. And well, it isn't part of the problem with with that mentality here. 
is that we we don't have a certain way of life. Like we like we were founded because we didn't. There wasn't one way of life. No, no, that's not like, correct. Though like, there was a way of life. I mean, we were f- founded was, on Christianity. No, though. no, before that though, who well, was here? Well, Native American. Where are they now? Americans. Where and right, you have to preserve. They're they're true. gone now because that's they, they yeah, it wasn't true. preserved. So, but they're it's gone though, dude. They're all but gone. Are you like, kidding? There's me? very few oh. reservations like in this country. All but well, gone. Yeah, and not what the, Putin's yeah. saying, like you know, if you think about it as an in a made, na- can we call them Native Americans? Is that what we call them now? Like I yeah. don't even know what the, someone's offended. Yeah. Mike said Native American. Yeah. Dennis, got my baby. Say the Redskins. <laughs> you know what I mean? So <laughs> I don't even know what you call them anymore. But like that's kind of what Putin's saying. Like you have to. There will be no more French people in the next ten years. They're trying okay. to. They're trying to like. They're trying oh, right, to breed what, what them I, out of, out of existence. Yeah, but what I guess what I mean was like. When when the United States of America was founded in 1776, like we it was it was pr- pretty much like an open door policy. Like we, we don't have a no, national. Sure. We technically don't have a national language. Everybody's like, you got you know, why do I got to press you know one for English and two for Spanish? And you know, why why can't everybody just speak English? Well, because first off, our version of English isn't even really English. Like we speak we American. Speak American. Yeah. I, I I subscribe to that, but this yeah, is okay not our language. But we don't a- have a national language. We don't have like. A national religion, regardless right. of like what people want to believe, and we are a melting pot. Like we don't, exactly. we're, not, we're not trying to protect some uh, like some kind of bloodline, right? You know what I mean? That's not the case in Europe, and that's not the case in Asia. You know, it's not. So it's not. you have to pr- like you got to protect that, like because the and the Native Americans didn't, and they're gone now. So if you don't protect it, that's what happens. right. That's what happens. You get and, overtaken. And but uh, and another thing too, though, regarding like. Like when when my ancestors and stuff came in, they came in through Ellis Island. They had paperwork. They had to do everything to 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 come. It wasn't just like, come on in, come on in. Open door policy. <laughs> Don't worry, but it's fine. Come in. and that's almost what it seems like it's getting to right now. And it's crazy. It's like they're saying your your family was refugees. No, they weren't. They came over no. on a boat from Italy, right. and they and went they, through Ellis Island. My yeah, grandfather's name is up on Ellis Island. He went through the whole thing, stamped WAP. We went over this yeah. in a couple episodes. They weren't ago. refugees. They did it the right way. Like they were I'm foreigners totally for coming that. here. Wanted to be American, and that's another thing too. It's like sports show. It's like some, someone, will be, <laughs> someone, will, someone will be complaining about like about someone saying something bad about their religion or whatever, and but they don't, and they're an American. Say you're an American uh, Muslim, or you're an American uh, insert religion here. You're an American first, right? So like you should like worry about our country and be united in that. Instead of being like, well, why do you think all Muslims are bad? We don't think all Muslims are bad. But let me tell you, uh, Frankie uh, De Geronimo over here isn't bombing people. It's not. It's not. Right. It's, it's let we it's know also, the local area of where it's coming from, so we have to be a little cautious. And it's also just been done. The whole Trojan horse thing. Yeah. Re- Syrian refugees in Paris, uh, Russian refugees in Boston. Like you know, it's kind of a trend. So you have to be careful, man. You, you got to. Right, Ryan Miller? You're right. Yeah, I'm just I'm just sitting there taking it in. I don't want to offend anybody. No, I think we I think I think everybody needs to stop being pussy. That's one thing. Everybody just has to sack up and stop being offended. You know what what the thing though is true? Like, do you get offended easily? I don't I don't. No. Like most people don't, I don't think. I think most I think I'm pretty sensitive. It's the it's the few that get all butthurt about it and they post and then we gets on the media. And that's why everyone then it becomes this big thing when literally only like eight people were pissed. I think my favorite like picture on the internet right now is that one, it's like Bill sees something on the internet. Bill doesn't like what he saw on the internet. Bill ignores it and walks away. Like if we would all just do that, like what? Like I'm just so sick and tired, like negative, and I'm like, yeah. I've like blocked or unfriended or unfollowed people just because like I'm just so sick and tired of like every time 100% you agree. log in just to try and like you know catch up on some news because like that's where I get my news. I don't watch MSNBC or whatever. I, I get my news from social media, from Twitter, from Facebook and stuff. And it's like every time I log on, I have to read like. Six people's nine million opinions about You're right. something that happened that they didn't care about yesterday, and they're not going to care about tomorrow. But he's the type of guy that then would put his opinion up on Facebook Just about the people people's whose yeah. opinions are pissed off about yeah. that. Like yeah. you get pissed at those people who put up their pissy I, opinions. Like, sure, me and Mike were talking about a, a, a past show. Like I. I you won't see me post anything political. You won't see me calm. I, I I just I'm always posting like funny or happy things or stuff I'm doing. It's because that just annoys the hell out of me. You know all it is now when you sign on. It's just like I shared. I shared when when the shit hit the fan a couple weeks ago uh, in Paris. I and everybody was sharing stuff. I shared four stories. Right. Oh yeah. All four of them were of a different perspective. 
Like mm-hmm. one was an old Je- uh, a George W. Bush uh, clip predicting that this was going to happen. One was like uh, a, a story about how Muslims are taking over uh, Europe. And then like one was like pro-Muslim, uh, right? So I put up all these different stories. But nothing was like bashing anybody. And somebody, like a lot of people started to attack like this one story. Right. And, I'm, and I, oh, I wanted to like write up there, like, did you not see the three I put before that? Like, why didn't, you know... It's like, Everyone's to focus man. on one thing, and I, I mean, th- I'll yeah. admit, I fall into the rabbit hole, and like, you there's, fall, do, there's times you gotta like catch yourself, and and there's sometimes, honest to God, you'll catch me, and you'll be like, you're you're right, you'll you'll like you'll throw something at me, and I'm like, shit. Sometimes I'll want, yeah, you're right. I'll read something, and be like, I want to respond to this so bad, but it's mm-hmm. just not worth getting into it. You know what I learned to do, man? I, I don't do it. So I, I don't type it. Though. Anything. Type it though. Or respond it to it and then delete it. And then delete it because it That's what I need to do. It really That's what I need to do. I do it. Ten times a day, really. Ten times a day. That's, that's what I need to do. Yeah. yeah. That's type what it I need and then to do. delete it. I'll sit there. I've done that it. with texts. Yeah. I've done that with texts. Same text. thing, man. It helps. Because <laughs> you're getting it. you're getting that thought out. Right. I want some cherries. That's where I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still the cherries. Wait, 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 we got to have dessert. <laughs> 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 I used the same analogy with with uh, with M and M's the other day, though. I mean, the exact same thing with some poisonous M and M's. Yeah. Oh yeah. I did. And I just put a picture of M and M's up on the Facebook. Well, yeah, because that's that, all it was. No I, words, just a, just the M and M's. I think you just wanted M and M's. I just wanted. M&Ms. I kind of want some peanut M and M's right now. <laughs> I think we, I think tonight or tomorrow we should all just post a picture of cherry and just see no no comment no nothing. Just, just see, see what happens. See what happens. So we'll right. It'll be fun for cherries. us, right? It'll be fun right. to Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Are right, you hear that sexy ass music? Speaking of cherries, right? So it's a game we like to play. It's called Todd's. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What's that bad? Yeah, no, it's good. Good. Oh, sure. I, I didn't even mean. To I love a nice cherry. <laughs> oh, that's where you're going with that? <laughs> I don't know where you're going with it. Dennis, get some cherries for Ryan Miller. <laughs> that's our intern, tasty, by the way. Ryan, real quick, you saw our intern when you walked in. Dennis, the intern, is that little squirrely twerp. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Let me ask you a question. If you you need something right now, you need you need a cherry. So you got to call. Dennis isn't in the room. You got to call for him. Can you just show us how you would do it? How I would call for Dennis. Yeah. yeah. Dennis. Huh? See that? That's a good one, Jim. Dennis. That's good. Oh, that's man. a good Dennis. Somebody told me the other so, day that I asked that same question. I've been asking people that question, and someone was like, "I don't. Uh, I would call him. I would pick. I would text. I, think, I, I would text, send him a text. Yeah, someone was like, "I text him." I'm like, I don't no. call people. I text people. You I, think, I think that was um, Jay Miller. Jay Miller. Yeah. Jay Miller, who you guys need to talk to, is he's a WWE Huge. fanatic. Huge. 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 Right. Right. WWE. It's a game we like to play. It's called Top or Bottom. I'm going to read two things. We're going to round table it. It's tailored to you guys. Which one is on top and which one is on the bottom? Are you ready to play? Yes, sir. Big Jim. <laughs> top or bottom, number one, Raw or SmackDown? Raw. Raw on top. Raw's live. Raw's, Raw's been the king. If it wasn't for Raw, there wouldn't be a SmackDown. It's not even close. Is that Thursday night? Thursday night SmackDown? Thursday night SmackDown. Yeah. Monday night Raw. I, I couldn't tell you last time I watched an episode of SmackDown, to be honest. Huh? What is? Well, I don't know the difference. Like, it wasn't one uh, in college? Where, I watched both. Yeah, one is where uh, The Rock really became big, right? That SmackDown when it first came out, it was live on Tuesday nights because they, they they tape it Tuesday nights. And when it first came out, it was it was just as important as Raw because it was live and everything. But now it's it's recorded ahead of time because of the internet and internet spoilers. Like they don't yeah. they don't oh, advance. How, yeah, how do you even do that? They, now? they don't advance storylines or anything. It's basically it's the redheaded stepchild of Monday Night Raw. Right, because everyone in the audience is tweeting, Periscope, yeah. scoping, Instagram. You can't hide anything. Nothing. It's got to be live, live or bust. Live or bust. Which one's live? Raw. Raw. Okay. Ryan Miller. No, Raw definitely, absolutely. Uh, we haven't seen a live Raw in, in a long time. I think. Probably five, six years. Yeah, something like that. Wait, uh, live SmackDown, you mean? Live SmackDown? No, we, we have a live SmackDown coming up. They do live SmackDown. And we, we, like, we haven't, we ha- he means we haven't gone to a oh, go live to Raw. See it live. Oh, like sorry, at, in, in Hershey, sorry. which is the closest arena to us. Right, the Hershey. They haven't hosted the a Raw in years. Ah. Yeah, but Raw, like you said, that's the one that, that advances storylines. Hmm. And, and you really just have to pay attention to that. So, Raw for sure. So what's the actual difference? Of, so one advances storylines and one they just wrestle. Right, right. Like they'll just, do minimal yeah. storylines. Work. Yeah, there's not right. a lot it's of basically going on. just wrestling. Debuts, things like that all happen on Raw. It's like the must watch show. Oh, right. It on. is. Yeah. Wraps up on, on nicely after a pay per view on a Sunday. Wraps everything up nicely on a Monday night. Yeah, I don't, uh, I, I don't, I'm not really up on wrestling anymore, but I've always liked it and I'll watch it if it's on. But so if, take me back to college, Raw was on. We always watched, we'd flip back and forth between that and football. So, and it was live. So Raw on top, SmackDown on the bottom. Although we would watch SmackDown before we went out. We would watch that pre-gaming and then go out. So. Who, who's your favorite wrestler? My favorite wrestler ever? Yeah. yeah. Like when you're in college and you're watching. 
Oh, that was like when The Rock was like... Yeah, so when The Rock lost, did did we lose? <laughs> Top or bottom, number it's one two. one guy. Uh, you didn't answer. Hey, Raw. Okay. I love him. Right. It doesn't matter if it's one guy, man. It does. It doesn't. Team. There's What's a team. The, there's a team. There's a team. The Rock is a dude. He's not a team. Yeah. That's what you think. Oh. And if there's a tag team, there's only two of them. We're not part of the tag team. Yeah. Oh, I hate I'm all part of the New York Giants. But we, the Cowboys, won yesterday. No, no, th no, Jim. Praise be Tony they, Romo. They we won. We won. <laughs> you didn't even watch the game. I know. I, I was I was visiting How my old man. How could we win when you I was visiting my old oh. man. I was checking the score. All right. Top or bottom number two? <laughs> Creed <laughs> or Star Wars: The Force Awakens? Creed. See. See. Oh, the movie Creed. Yeah, not the band. <laughs> Stop oh, it. oh, Creed on For top. those people who might not know, Creed With might as well be Rock, up, um, Rocky Seven. Right? That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I'll draw you to this place. There's something I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Creed the movie, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you everything <laughs> with arms wide open. <laughs> wow. Uh, what happened to that guy? Uh, he went crazy. He went, yeah, he went. Apeshit. I think he's like back now. He's like normal again. Oh, he's back to. I saw something. His version of normal. Okay. <laughs> so um, I didn't mean to step on your top or bottom. Creed on top. Rocky Seven on top. You're saying? Yeah, I've I've I love the Rocky movies. Uh, I mean, I, I've I've watched I've seen all the Star Wars, but I'm not I'm not like. My, my geekiness uh, centers on professional wrestling, so <laughs> it doesn't center on Star Wars. I'll watch it at some point, but I, I would go Creed on top. Come on, Ryan, please. Man, I don't think I've ever admitted this ever. I don't think I've ever watched a Star Wars movie start God to God damn it, man. Oh. Honest to God. Uh, I, I already know Derek's answer here. Sorry, so yeah, it's got to be Creed. You've never watched a Star What are you, communist? Not, not start to finish. <laughs> I'm sure I never did. I feel like I don't, I've come in the same boat. Like I've, I've not seen watched. bits and parts. I know some of the characters, but other than that. I'm with, I'm with him. No. Either way, yeah, I put, uh, I put Creed the movie on top. Apollo Creed's son. Come on, it's good. Rocky's in it. On top. Is Pauly going to be in it? Uh, Paulie's did he? Uh, no, Paulie I don't think Paulie's dead. I don't think he's dead. I don't I think don't he think, is. I don't think he is. He was in the he was in the last Rocky movie. I thought he died in that though. Um, he no. lost his job, didn't he? He lost, his, he lost job. his job. Then Rocky came in and was beating up the beating the meat. Beating the meat. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, <laughs> he was beating the meat. I I mean, I'm so disappointed in all of you. I really am. You know. Well, you, you put Star Wars on top. I clear. I have my tickets December seventeenth at eleven fifteen p.m. Do you really? Yes, I do. I'm sitting right in between the, the lovely talented Pam and I are setting so an alarm going because I'll be dead asleep before <laughs> ten o'clock at night. Right? So I'm setting an alarm to wake up. I have the two seats because now you have to reserve seats on Fandango. You can't just go to the movies anymore. Good lord! And I bought the two right in between the two handicap sections. Ah, uh, right. So I'm dead center in between nice. the handicaps. So you're coming to Christmas Carol one of the other nights then. <laughs> oh shit! Did you give me a ticket? <laughs> no. Oh well, I'm going to see on the 17th. If I didn't buy the ticket at that show that night, they must have just released another uh, set, of, another show because it was sold out. Oh, the 16th that comes out, it was sold out, and every other show was sold out. I just happened to click. How on. many Star Wars is there now? Like seven? No, there's all. This will be. Listen, I don't care what anybody says. It's number four. But well, now nah, those are stuff. What was like the are, Phantom stop. Menace and, and all that? that stuff. You, you will appreciate this though, my brother. Uh, when one of the prequels that you claim doesn't exist came out, <laughs> he he saw he's a huge Star Wars fan. Saw it in the theaters once every week. It was in the theaters. Really? Yeah. The prequels? Yeah, they were terrible, man. But How many were there? He there was, was there's there's this will be the seventh. The, How many the, prequels? The three we grew up with, and then the three that just came out are the prequels to those. And now this yeah. is drop moving the story forward. This, this is, is after seven, eight, the, nine, This is after the originals. Yeah. But so, yeah, he saw it for like. 32 straight weeks or something, once a week. Because he's that big of a Star Wars fan. That's yeah. insane. Oh, man, I don't even know what just happened. The music just started over. It's so weird. Well, it's the same music anyway. <laughs> Number four. Take it, Mike. <laughs> we get it. Star Wars on top for you, all right? You got your ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Creed. Derek D. Singing. Arms wide open. Well, I just heard. Wish I had a lighter. A new right today. I guess you have to do the. It seems out. my life is gonna change. I close my eyes. 
began to pray then tears of joy streamed down my face with arms wide open <laughs> under sunlight right in the field welcome right. to this place i'll show you everything with arms wide open you're, you're all, it's karaoke's right here and you're off. You're still off. It's like it, it wait, what is this sound effect? I, I tried to the give you some reverb. I tried to give you some reverb. Come one more line. Well, I don't I don't even know what it, how it goes right there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how it goes right there. I only know that beginning part. Alright. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm in a huge room. <laughs> what is this ro huge room that I'm in? <laughs> Are you guys here with me? <laughs> we threw Derek down in like the garbage can right now. Yeah. Oh, I'm back. Hey. Uh, top or bottom number three? Uh, Matt Castle or Tony Romo. I don't know. He wrote that shit. Are you kidding? It's not even a question. How is that even a question? I didn't write it. Tony Romo on top. Uh, I don't even need to explain it. I'm an Eagles fan, so I'm going to have oh. to go Matt Castle. You I guess. would. I would oh. have to go Castle. Eagles. I mean, just, and you guys, me being terrible. a Capitals fan is bad. I know. The Eagles is so bad. They were so bad, though. You can't even hate on me because we're so bad. <laughs> oh, I, I uh, Matt Castle, top all day. <sighs> Romo bottom. He's never going to win. He's always going to get sort of almost there and blah, blah. Fail. Romo. Oh, my, 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 my clavicle. Oh, my, 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 my arm. <laughs> he gets hurt all the time. Are you done? Did you just say two Super Bowl MVPs, New York Giants? Sling, Eli Manning? The sling blade. The question was not. The question was not Oliver Manning Matt or Castle. Tony Romo. <laughs> Matt All Castle. Right. Opie and Tony what Romo. Sling, I think Ro sl sling blade, isn't it? Listen, you can't hate on him, man. I what? think Romo's better than Castle, but he, I put Castle on top. Romo's clearly better. Absolutely. No, Romo's a good but, quarterback, yeah. but he's he he. But that wasn't the question. Never gonna get it done. I, you know what? Like I, I really thought. I really thought Whedon was going to be better. Yeah, I, I did. Really they did. cut him. Yeah, they, they cut, cut him. him. He sucked, He's man. Terrible. That's yeah. That's a shame. <sighs> I'm not even answering this question. Uh, Romo on top, but I'm I'm not a Romo supporter, man. I, you know what I mean? Like I miss, I wish that Troy Aikman would come back. Just suit up somehow for one time more game. travel. Yeah, no, yeah, right We're now. Just coming right now. Yeah, coming right now. I bet he could play. I bet he has a gun. Right? He, he He's probably not as good as Romo. Throw right Throw the now. ball to Joe Buck. Joe Buck's oh, head would just God. blow up. Good, because I hate Joe Buck. He is God, awful. So I don't hate, hate Joe Buck. You should. You should hate Joe Buck. He hates you. <laughs> Top or bottom number four. Carson or Trump? Oh. I have to pick one? Top or, well, you know, you just have to put one on top. One on top. Uh, I guess Trump on top, because I, I can I can at least get a laugh out of him. I can at least get a laugh about him. So yeah, Trump, Trump 100%. Just for the SNL skits. And, and yeah, listen, it was it. finally funny last night. Right, it's got. I'm sorry, it. two nights ago. Two nights ago. Right, yeah. but I, I, it's I watch Sunday morning I DVR. Haven't, I, haven't, sure. I haven't watched it yet. Most people watch Saturday Night Live. I watch Sunday morning DVR. That's what <laughs> right. I, yeah, I catch a couple links on a uh, YouTube. But did you? It was good. Like, Wait, it was good. The most recent one? Yeah, it was good. Is that the one with McConaughey, right? Yeah, the okay. one at the dinner table was it was pretty funny with the Adele song. Oh yeah. Great and, skit. And all, the, all the skits the nailed skits it were last good, night. Yeah. They did like a Star Wars spoof that none of you care about, so we'll just move on from that. <laughs> Jesus. Obviously, I'm on top in a gold bed. <laughs> ben Carson, he's an idiot. I, l I really liked Ben Carson, man, but I think I, I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it loud and proud. I'm, I'm going to vote for Donald Trump. We, I just said it out loud. We need well, something to happen. I'm right? going to vote for Donald Trump. Might I vote, think he's gonna, I might vote for Donald Duck. I don't know. He might drop yeah. out. Let's be honest. Uh, listen, oh, he's not dropping out. You don't think so? No, I do think that whoever is our next president, we don't know their name yet. I agree. I would hope so. I don't. We don't need any Clintons in there or Bushes or just get just wipe the slate clean. Oh right. God, if she wins, top or bottom yeah. number five, hosting a show or hosting a live show, hosting a recorded show or hosting a live show. It's so wordy. Live show, live show on top. I love live. Why? I mean, this is fun, but I, I live because on top of the the podcast that we do, we uh, work with local wrestling companies. We we'll do like live pre shows, like in house, and there's just something about being live. It, anything, anything can happen. Things can go wrong, but you just you just kind of roll with them. Like I, I know there's a couple times where we'll preempt because you know, like this week's Thanksgiving, we're going to record ahead of time and mm -hmm. then put it out there. 
And and every time we record, we we screw up. We have to hit stop and start back over. Now you just roll with the punches, man. You know how yeah. many times we screwed up already tonight? That's true. But in my <laughs> head, I'm going like I, I can't even get through my intro when we record. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, no, yeah. So yeah. live on live go. on top. Now, do you guys record live typically, or do you guys like go back and edit a lot? Are you or? not in the room right now with us? <laughs> no, we're out here. He's <laughs> <laughs> still at Wegman. <laughs> Can you rephrase that question? God, we record cherries. live to tape. <laughs> Like, yeah, I guess live, live to digital. To tape. I, I don't edit much. What's like, that? if our producer Frankie over there says you need to cut X, Y, and Z, then I'll cut X, Y, and Z. But other than that, right, it's pretty much true. okay. No, I mean, I, even when we record, we record live, and we don't even. I mean, we're just too lazy to edit. Yeah, so I think what it comes down to <laughs> the uh, the live free shows that we do are fun uh, in front of people. You know, the, the couple yeah. hundred up to maybe near a thousand uh, the people in some of the shows that we go to. But uh, yeah, live for sure. Um, well, I, I, I love doing the recorded stuff, but there is an element to being live that's really interesting and fun. <clears throat> Just like anything can happen, what's, you know, what's going on, people calling in, whether, whether it's this or live, you know, on stage or mm -hmm. live TV show, anything like that. It's, it's a little more exhilarating, I think, but I don't, I don't know. I, I, don't know. I, I hate, I, I don't want to say I hate it. I almost said I hate it. When I did the, uh, cage fighting. For all those years, those were all live, and it was like it was nerve wracking, man. Yeah, you got to put just kind of get that out of your head, though. But it wasn't like the ner it wasn't nerve. I didn't care about the commentary what people would hear like live. Like that didn't bother me. It was just talking like this, and and I always had an expert with me. But it was it was the operation of it all. Mm. You know what I mean? Like there was a lot going on. Whereas yeah. if you do screw up, you have to drive through it. You just got to push through it, right? And and just pretend like you didn't, and hopefully people didn't catch it. Whereas, you know, on this, it's like, you can just relax. Like, we can giggle. We, we could, uh, I could play friggin' Creed karaoke for Derek <laughs> and, and finally get to the, the right sound I wanted. But, like, whatever. It was fun getting there. Yeah, but the thing is, we... If it didn't work, I could cut it. But we don't, we don't, we, we, we record as if it's live. There's people listening to this podcast right now going, because I haven't decided if I'm going to cut that yet or not, right? So it's either in the show or it's not in the show. So people are going, what the hell is he talking about? Or your good, good thing he didn't cut it was really funny. Why would so you either way, we don't know how this is going to play out. Yeah, yeah. Some people, someone right now is confused. Either I think it's still in though. You, you do think it's I in? I think he kept it in. You think I kept it in? I think he kept it in. I don't know if I did. I think he, <laughs> I think he kept it in. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in the cage fighting thing. Is that is that a Joe Rogan joke? Like I don't know no. about this. <laughs> no, no. Like, is that what that <laughs> was? <laughs> Uh, which one's his? What color? See, Green? I'm, 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 okay, you're muted. So, <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Miller's left, everybody. I don't right, know where he is. <laughs> the Robin to my Batman. No, mode. no, Robin. Uh, that's not a Joe Rogan joke. That's part of it, though. I commentated cage fighting for many years. You didn't know this stuff. Well, you know. <laughs> Jim, Jim, I actually didn't know that. just clued me in on I the mean, Joe I'm Rogan joke. I'm invited on a show. You know, I usually <laughs> Google it at least. <laughs> you know? Nah, go in cold. Figure it out. <laughs> right. <laughs> Like Ryan did. Live show. <laughs> yeah, live show. Live show. There you go. <laughs> um, so you, you just touched upon something. Like uh, you're, you're starting to work with wrestling organizations. Yes. Tell us about that. Uh, back in March, we we were in touch with uh, Lancaster Championship Wrestling. It's uh, they do once a month a show at the Lancaster Host Resort in Lancaster, PA, and we met with uh, the the owner at the time, and. He discussed he he had this idea similar to the WWE pre shows like they do before every pay per view they have like a pre show panel and they'll talk about the matches kind of get but his idea was to like do it live in the arena where they do the shows just if there's people who it's their first time there they don't really know anything that's going on it'll be like oh okay this guy's a good guy this guy's a bad guy this guy's been on a winning streak this guy's been losing so that was kind of his idea and and our first show was in April. So once a month, yeah, we we host that, and and since that, you know, live we, in the arena, live in the arena, but like recording or you're on the mic. No, we're over the, the PA system. Like we're, uh, we're there's a table like at um, either. Sometimes it's it's at the entrance ramp. Sometimes it's like on the side of the room. Oh, so, so are you like uh, what's it called on the the what the, what's the do with the cowboy hat? Uh, like, like JBL. Yeah, him and like no, uh, no, no. The, the, those guys are like the broadcasters. There's a whole separate group. We're we're before uh, the show starts. Like the show starts at seven, we go on at six thirty, and they're like, you know, the title match tonight is like this 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 coming week is the kind of like a game day thing almost. Yeah, oh, almost like a college. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good analogy. Oh, it's cool, man. Nice. It's like yeah, the, before, yeah. It's I mean, like, and the thing is, like, you don't have to listen to us either. Like, 
you know, their their wrestlers have have are all set up. You can meet and greet with a bunch of wrestlers, stuff like that. Um, you know, if if you're done with that and you're sitting in your seat and you want to listen, you know, give us a listen. And uh, I mean, we're, you you will hear us. You oh, don't nice. have to listen, but you're going to hear us. Right. Oh, but, cool. But uh, you know, we give some predictions. You know, shake peop- down some some stuff. Uh, usually like eight matches. So we, we run down who's 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 fighting who, things like that, and give our predictions. And how many people are in the arena? Uh, I'd say on average, there's there's probably a, about seven hundred or so. Yeah, it's a pretty big. Oh, that's a good amount of people at LCW every month. Yeah, so I think the biggest one we had was was when Roddy Piper. Yeah, was Roddy there. Piper. Oh God bless. What did he man. die of? A heart attack. Jeez. Yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah, that, that was in May, and he died uh, at the beginning of August. Uh, I can't believe he's dead. His, he wasn't that old. It, right? His appearance was like the second to last one. He he did a Piper's Pit at Lancaster. That was like I said, the end of May, and then he was at a show in Maryland, like a couple, for, like, a, a, like about five weeks later. And we weren't at that one, but there was one in Maryland. It was the last Piper's Pit ever. And ironically enough, we found out after that the guy that they got to play the bagpipes at the MCW show, which is the last one he was at, played them at the first WrestleMania. Oh wow! Hmm. Played him out in the first WrestleMania, so it was like first and last. How, how many oh, of wow. these guys from the not not the older guys that have come back, but like how many of these young guys move up to? The, is it like a feeding ground, like a minor league kind of thing? Uh a little bit. Like there's there's some guys that um like there there's a there's a company called Lucha Underground. There it's it's kind of picking up ground as as a kind of an alternative to WWE. Uh, there's a couple guys that are that work LCW that that work there. Uh, there's been some guys that have kind of gone back and forth. Um, they had they had a guy that was on the most recent season of Tough Enough, WWE Tough Enough. Are you tough enough? <laughs> Is that the song for no. you? No, oh. no. <laughs> was that a Menergize song? <laughs> oh, I think that's uh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, Patrick Clark, he's now uh, been signed to a D- WWE developmental deal. I don't think. Is there anybody else? In in LCW that has worked LCW that man that I know of. I mean, I know there's there's some that work like Ring of Honor, Ring of Honor, TNA, CZW, CZW. Oh, like there's like th- that are all there's the guys. lower like, independent yeah. level, and then there's like the mid independent level, and there's the upper independent level, and uh, th- there's not any that have started in LCW to my knowledge that have made it to to WWE yet. And these guys get paid, or they're just doing it because they love it. They get paid, yeah, they get paid. Um, and, and they're not making a lot of bank. I don't know. No, I wouldn't think so. No. But uh, you know, they're they're doing it because they love it, man. And and honestly, in the last what eight months that we've been doing this, uh, we've seen there's been some matches that are better than stuff we've right. seen on WWE. I mean, truly, they some want the, they want it. And they they love want it. it right? It's 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 passion. And the the first independent show that we ever went to was at a uh, w- was a show in Stevens, PA, at, at a fire hall, Atomic Championship Wrestling. And there was a fatal four way match, and it was the best match I think we've ever seen live. <laughs> Probably ever. Yeah. What was so good about it? it? Just all the guys were just. They were hungry. Yeah, that's what it is. Did they throw tax down. I mean, it's like crazy. Sailing. No, it wasn't. It wasn't anything gimmicky. It, it was just. It was just really four, good four athleticism. Guys. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, doing stuff that that I'd, I'd never be able to do. Wow. I mean, literally, almost jumping off and touching the ceiling, like as they're as they're jumping off the top rope, like it's that <laughs> close in a little fire. Uh, yeah, hall. that one. Now the the LCW, like Lancaster Championship Wrestling. That's that's the company. Uh, that that we primarily work for. We do, we work for we do some stuff with other companies, but LCW is kind of like our home base, and they they're in like a big expo center. Like it feels big, and they even have like a balcony. And like a couple months back, there was a guy uh, named Shatter who made his return, and it was kind of like almost like a, a sting back in WCW days because like the lights went out and his music was playing. He's like up on this balcony, oh, cool. and like the spotlight just hits him, and like everybody lost their mind because he he's been with LCW since the beginning. Oh wow! I mean, there, there's some wrestlers that at LCW. Uh, Shane Douglas wrestles there quite frequently. He was in ECW a, mm-hmm. a while back. Uh, the franchise. Uh, what Gene Snitsky? Gene Snitsky wrestled with him for quite some time. Rhino, Rhino wrestled with oh, him I've, for, I've for quite some time. Rhino. Rhino. And and then, they've all been, you know, they, up on, on on. They they usually like once a month they'll get in uh, like a like a well known like WWE legend. Uh, we, we've seen Piper. We've seen Jimmy Hart, Larry Zbysko, uh Vader was there last month. Uh, this month is is actually really big. Like Nik- Nikolai Volkov is going to be there. Uh, like and some- none of you get excited about Chewbacca? No. no. <laughs> I, I haven't even seen the preview for it. 
I've seen the like, trailer. The, the trailers come out. I haven't even watched it. I don't think I've seen the whole thing. Like I just I could I could care less about it. I will watch it. I like I think it is cool, but like I know the I prequels soured me on on Star Wars though a little bit because they were really they bad. They sucked. They sucked. I can't believe. And it. like I know I'm just. I would be hard pressed to name ten characters from Star Wars. But I don't. I don't. I don't go to movies either though. I don't like you. <laughs> oh, Honest to God, I couldn't. Name I just 10. made you know. I don't like to prejudge. I, I talked to people for a while, but I've just decided. Ten. I, that would be Never tough. seen Star Wars. Ten would be tough. Ten would be tough. Like I, be. I'm trying to find something about Ryan Miller that I like. Oh, I That's like just Ryan. Not much. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. You know I mean? this, this is tough. I don't think I've ever had a guest on the show that's even that sat across from me and that I just let's them see if we can name ten. I make, I I make like an ill-time Joe Rogan joke and I don't like <laughs> Star Wars. I did I, set you up for that. I'm on, I'm on the guy's e- shit you're, list. You're an Eagle fan, and I'm an Eagles fan. Oh, that's yeah. well. Try and name yeah. ten right yeah. now. By my all right, uh, Princess Leia. That's one. Um, Jabba the Hutt. Two. Uh, Darth Vader. Three. Han Solo. Four. Oh my God. Um, he said Fett. one. Okay, Who? five. All the ones he's saying, I would, I, I would know. He didn't even Bubba name Fett. the, the he main said, two he, he said one. Luke Skywalker. Yeah, okay, thank Luke. you. Um, six. You got four more. Come on. Man. His sister. Uh, isn't that Princess Leia? I don't yeah, know. Thank you. I said he that. said Leia. Oh, you you said said Leia. That was the yeah. first one he said. Oh, yeah. my bad. He said one a minute and a half ago. Uh, Mario and Luigi. Say Bubba Fett. I did say Bubba Fett. The big furry guy. Chewbacca. Okay. Uh, there, there was th- the annoying one. Can I, in the can I can charge our binks? That oh, counts. you son of a bitch! That oh, R- R- R2D2 that counts. Count, man. Okay, R two D two and C three PO. Boom! There's, so ten. there's ten. You said ten. Okay. There's ten. For someone who's All never right. seen the movie. All right. I said I knew, I knew some things about it. I would have been like around eight or nine. You're, you're dumb. I would have struggled if you didn't say R two D two or the tin guy or whatever you <laughs> the said. The tin guy. The tin man. The tin man. I mean, you didn't even say Boba Fett. He's an he said Boba bounty Fett. hunter. Is, he, he did say Boba Fett. I don't see how that stopped listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> you want to play a game? Let's play a game. All right, we're gonna play a little game we haven't played in a while. It's called Ask the, and this one's gonna be Ask the WWE character. Okay. Right. So, for those of you who don't know how the game is played, we have named Dennis. Dennis, where's the cup? Dennis put it's names in the cup. Jimmy, grab that cup. That's a New York oh, Rangers it. mug, and in it Ugh. there are there are names of WWE wrestlers. All right. Uh, you're gonna pick one out of the hat, and then you are going to have. I'm each one of us is gonna do this. You're gonna say something politically or socially challenging or important, whatever it is. You know, ice. You, it could be one word, ISIS. Right, or it could be okay. like uh, the 2016 presidential election, something to that magnitude. And then the other three people are going to answer the question as their WWE wrestler, and you got to guess who they are. Okay. Are you ready to play? All right, all right, all right. All right. So uh, who would like to uh, who would like to go first? Are you asking a question? You, you go- would like to ask their thing first, Derek? Why don't you? What am I doing? Yeah, have a politically challenged commentary, and then uh, we're going to pick our wrestler. Jim, pick one. Give it to Ryan. Um. What what is your 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 number your number one? Um, <laughs> what's the what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. What's the number one change you're looking forward to in 2016 presidential election? Like what what change? What uh? What's the most important um, factor? The, what am I, what's the word I'm looking at? The most important issue in the 2016 election? Are you are you asking me? I'm asking you. You're asking my WWE wrestler. Yes. <laughs> I'm a fool that asked me what the change is going to be in 2016, sucker. <laughs> Do I have the answer you have? No, you wait to the end. You okay. Me- <laughs> All right, now, now I'm right there. Let me tell you something, brother. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> the change I want is more feather boas in 2016, <laughs> brother. Oh, boy. How do I do this and not sound like a total racist? <laughs> oh, man, I'm glad I didn't pull man. that one. Um, in 2016. Uh, <laughs> wow, you're really embodying man, this character. That's tough. <laughs> it really is. Um, <laughs> Just remember, everybody needs to stop being offended and stop being pussies, so don't be afraid. Okay, all right. Uh, no build a wall. Arriba. That's all I got. I don't, I don't freaking oh, know, man. It's tough. What? Arriba. Oh, God, I hate you, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> you're my you're like the antithesis uh, of Mike Palato. Uh, 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 Mike Palato is yes, Mr. T. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Big Jim is Hulk Hogan. Mm-hmm. And uh, Ryan is Jimmy Superfly Stucker. No. Uh, Tito Santana. Tito Santana. Tito Santana. Uh, uh, somebody got to keep score here. Dennis, keep score. So, Derek, you have one wrong. 
I'm keeping score. There's, okay. there's going to be a winner. I had you, uh, had you on Booker T, though. The sucker had, had me thinking Booker oh, T. Oh, I thought I was at spot on Mr. T. Well, you oh, said, well, well, spot on. Once you said sucker, I'm yeah, like, Yeah, when you said sucker, that's Booker T, oh, the guy wow. from Harlem Heat and WCW. You said oh, pay the fool. That threw like, me yeah. off. Right. Oh, that, man, I, I, I felt, I felt like Mr. T em, it, like embodied me. <laughs> I felt like I grew I a mohawk and I was black. You had chains? Chains and everything, right? <laughs> right? All right, pick another pick another one. All right. All right, I'm going to give you guys a social commentary. Uh Doggy, so uh, how do you feel? <laughs> how do you feel about the oh, news? What? How do you feel about the new Star Wars film coming out? Did you get your tickets? Did you get your tickets to the new Star Wars film? Man, I don't know how to do this one because <laughs> I don't. I don't. I, I he was a little bit before my time. Uh, I guess I'm excited for it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, don't know. I, know, I know who you are. I, know, I got that one. That was terrible, but I know. I know. I, <laughs> I think I know who he is, but yeah, it's terrible. Hey, what was the question? Uh, did you get your Star Wars tickets yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, at first I thought you were Hitler, <laughs> but, <laughs> but now I think I know who you are. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> That's it? How? No. I, I I have not gotten my <laughs> stupid Star Wars. You take you take my land. Oh, 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 oh. I I know. What did you say? I don't even know what this guy. Yo, said. you said you were uh, Big Jim. You were ju- you were JYD. You were I was a junkyard JYD, dog. Yeah. Ryan Miller. You you were uh, hacksaw Jim Duggan, and that was pretty clever. You're coming back. Oh, right, thank you're, you. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're that, was good. that was a good one. And you're you're just a racist. I would never even know who this guy is. <laughs> who is it? Tom, Tomahawk <laughs> Billy? I don't know. I, Chief J. Strong? I never heard of Chief J. Oh, Strong. I would have guessed oh, Tatanka. I was thinking Tatanka. Damn it, I got, <laughs> so I got Generational one. Generational divide. That's what it was. Strongbow's you, tough. You, who is Strongbow? What does he do? He's an Indian. He was, yeah. <laughs> is he the guy in Native American? Is he the guy in a commercial with the one tear when he picks that bottle? I think that was him. Ryan, pick one and pass. Jimmy, it's up to you. Oh, man. Right now, Derek and I have one rung. You guys can still still steal it. Like, I pick anything? What's the... Uh, So, any social commentary. How do you feel about people that get offended on the internet? That's fine. Ryan, you're up. (laughs) Uh, Ryan, I don't don't know. I think you want to trade with me. I, I just feel like this is your character. <laughs> Are you having a hard time with that one? I, I, I'm not. Okay. No. okay. What was wait, one more time? How do you feel about people that get offended on the I'll internet? I'll break their back and I'll make them humble. I love humble he, them. I love how he doesn't even oh, attempt. I got it. Humble I got it. I got it. I got it. He doesn't got even it. attempt to be the character. He just. No, he no, just I, I got it. I break no. their back. I got it. I got it. I got. I got it. I, I didn't think I had to think of the character though. I got I it. I just think that sentence should have done it for you. Well, here's the thing, right? Because, you know, when I was fighting the Vandal, and I was like, I was, I was, I was, you know, one time I did a little WWF, and then... He's the not w- the WWE. And people, and, 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 and people was, were saying he, a bad he, thing for me. He was the once. Was he? He was once. I guess it counts then. He was, was a spe- he was the special enforcer, uh, WrestleMania 14. <laughs> yeah, so don't say anything wrong about me, because I'm going to have to come and punch you right in the face. <laughs> All right. I think everybody's got it. What was the question? How do you feel about people getting offended on the internet? Uh... <clears throat> The Dread Pirate Roberts? I the Dread Pirate Roberts? Are you I am Groot from uh What did, <laughs> what did he just say? Oh that's it. I, and that's an easy one. I thought you would embody this. I one. right? I don't How know. Is, how that, to do is, it. That a, is that a weight joke? I have no, 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 no. <laughs> I have no clue. No, I feel how like is I've, that easy? That's that's pretty easy, I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh I mean I could do it like Ryan Miller did it, would do it, right? Like how would uh, I? I can't believe Hulk Hogan picked me up and slammed me. No Thank one's you, ever. Uh, yeah, that, right. That's how Easy. Ryan Miller would have said Ryan Miller. Iron I'm, Sheik, I'm to, you know. Iron Sheik, Mike Tyson, and Andre the Giant. There you go. There you go. All right. <laughs> uh, how does Andre the Giant sound? He, he was in uh, he Hello, was the Dread Pirate lady. Roberts in, in uh, uh, The Princess Bride. The Princess Bride. Anybody, anybody ah. want a peanut? <laughs> yeah. Right. That's right. Hello, pretty lady. Yeah. Anybody want a peanut? I almost wanted to be like, I am a Neil Gomantoya. You killed my father. Uh, not prepared to die. Whose turn is it? Who did it go? Ryan did. There you go. Pick there. Is there enough in here? Yeah, there should be. What's your uh, commentary, sir? I guess I guess my commentary would be. Uh, oh, I don't know what he did. Do you think that Tony Romo will lead the Cowboys to the playoffs this year? <laughs> this I mean, is, that's this, important commentary. This is politically charged. Uh, Am I going first? Yeah, I think sure. So. Crap, I don't even. Uh, uh, I don't remember what he did. I remember him, but I don't remember what he did. Um. 
Arr, I got an earring <laughs> in my one ear. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I hate the Dallas Cowboys, and I'll suplex them. I have no idea. I have no <laughs> idea. I remember who he was, but I don't remember what he's. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Cindy Lauper. <laughs> was that good enough? Cindy Lauper. That was uh, yeah. I got it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, yeah. What was what, what was your commentary? Uh, will the will the Dallas will Tony Romo lead the Dallas Cowboys to the playoffs this year? <laughs> Suck it! I guess <laughs> <laughs> that's for YouTube. That was, yeah. I totally just ripped my headphones out. I'm sorry. Wait, what'd you? Uh, I don't even know if I did it right. Did I do it right? I think you did it right. Wait, so I was supposed to give you the finger too? Well, it depends who you were. Do it again. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, you were wrong. <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> no, no, you, no! You got to give the finger on that one. You got to give the finger on that one. See, I was watching okay. too many Star Wars movies. Too many Star Wars movies. But you know, all right. So guess. Oh wait, now I got to do mine now. Oh, you didn't go yet. I'm, I'm, sorry. Do mine. I'm sorry. Let me tell you something, Gorilla. When Tony Romo takes the Cowboys to the playoffs, the state of Minnesota is going to be all worse than it was uh, when I was governor. That should have been the president right there. I'd vote for him. Oh, he's a nut job. He's a nut he? job. I love him. He's totally crazy. Psycho. I, he's the worst. Lou Abano. Uh, yeah. Stone Cold mm -hmm. and Ventura. How, wait, how did you get Lou Abano from Cindy Lauper? Because that's the, rock, the rock and wrestling connection. Yeah. What? WrestleMania <laughs> 1. But if, if you had to do, what does he sound like? What's his name? I have no freaking clue. I have clue. no freaking clue. He, yeah, I don't know. We, were, we were two years old when WrestleMania 1 happened, so. Yeah. Is he, is he dead? He's I dead. I honestly don't he's know. He's dead. Is he dead? You're dead, man. Is Cindy Lauper dead? Yeah, man. Her career is. Did you get, you both no. got all three? Cindy Lauper's career? Dead? Is it? Dude, she did Kinky Boots on Broadway. She's killing it right now. What? She wrote it. Wrote and wrote the music. What? Everything. Yeah. Well, that Cindy does not resonate I with me. I believe you when you I, said yeah, she was I, dead. I'm not, I, <laughs> I haven't seen it or anything, but I'm sure. Well, I sit corrected then. I, I I didn't think she was doing anything. Yeah, she's still, she's around, man. Well, Derek she, D. You we, know what? Uh, she was on Howard Stern. That's what I knew. We <laughs> lost, bro. They won. You guys tied each other. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. You are the winners of Ask the. Yeah. Uh, he's staring at me like I'm supposed to say something. Ask no, the PBR I'm, I'm, crew. I'm, Ask the. I'm looking at, you know, I kind of, I, I didn't want you to win, Rob. I'm <laughs> sorry. I really didn't want you That's to win. That's okay. I accept that. <laughs> Jim, I'm sorry. It, it's all right. I'm used to it. I've known him for 25 years. How, how wrong was I with Stone Cold, though? He the always suck it. The suck it was 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 the suck it was wrong. Oh, yeah, but the Who beer, suck it? But the, the beer, beer was, was right. God, you so lucky there wasn't a can of Bud Light in there because I would have. I was gonna spray it all. God damn it! I was Wait, gonna who, spray it all over. Who you. said suck it? Who was the suck it? Degeneration it X. X. But he used to take really? the beer can out. And, he took. And, he would get cans of beer thrown to him from the timekeeper, Mark Eaton. <laughs> Mark Eaton. And then he would uh, he would just throw beer. Just if slam I beers. More. What was the wrestler where he says something? The whole that crowd goes yes. Yes, right? Daniel Bryan. Yes, is Daniel, Daniel Bryan. Bryan. That was in the last couple of years. Yeah. Austin, they would always say what? What? That would be that's what I was Yeah, that was about. what. Yeah, he was he was he was the what guy. There, there's there's some classic stuff. There really is, man. There's some <laughs> really, I gotta start watching. That's some good stuff with Mark Eaton, though. Uh local guy lives right in the area that where we're at. Uh was the guy that would launch the, the, the cans. To him, yeah. He's to, Amish to too? Steve Austin. He's not Amish. Okay. <laughs> no. No. Does no. He Believe like, it or not, we're not all Amish. You ever get stuck behind a buggy just like, geez. Every day, yeah, that's life. Really, I mean, that's life. That's like a Sundays Tuesday. are that's the worst. A, yeah. Are you allowed Sundays to pass are... buggies? Yes. Like, you, yeah, screw your signal, just fly by them. Now, yeah. what do they use when they want to turn? They go like this or something. They have signals. They have, uh, I guess, they're battery powered. Yeah, they have to be battery powered. Battery they powered. Yeah, they have headlights on them. And yeah, they... but that's how do they do that? That's not right. I think they're they're, they're, they're okay battery powered. Batteries. It's not electric, and they're actually allowed to use electric when they're uh, off of their property. Like at their jobs, like they they what? have cell phones and what? Yeah. Oh, this is not the, it. The, the, it's 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 changing. It didn't used to be that way. Amish mafia. That totally ain't real. Fake. I, totally fake. No, I, I think it's legit, but it's not to what it was on the show. It's reality. I, I know. I know people who know who like who like have worked in, in areas where there's a lot more. Like, I mean, obviously we have them in, in where our town, but like in their more like farm communities, like they do police themselves. But yeah, I don't think they're as wholesome as, as people. So make they go off their reservation, whatever it's called, and they got an iPhone at work. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh -huh. What? That yeah, might... they got the they got the the cameras taking the pictures, printing them out at the CVS. They go they go to they go to yeah. Florida and like party, like they go on vacation. Well, Rum like Spring, Florida. I mean, Rum they get get down. But my, the, boy. my dad, when when I was growing up, my dad's the IT guy at his work was Amish. They fly. The IT mm -hmm. guy was Amish. Yeah. Yep. What? No, no, they that's fly that's... and take trade. They're not because they're not. 
con- they're not controlling it. You know what I'm saying? All right. Look, no, I've seen them in Penn Station. Did you just put my mic down a little bit? I turned our headphones down. A little oh bit. yeah, but yeah, they um <laughs> they uh yeah, but that's they 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 can yeah they, they can. are not operating. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it though. I slowly turned it down. Yeah. If they're not operating it, they can. Tr- <laughs> oh man, uh, lives to tape, everybody. <laughs> Isn't it great being in that chair that yeah, you have the power absolutely, to do that? Absolutely, absolutely. I've never done it to to Ryan. You or should. We, we, a we have a third guy. <laughs> we, we have a third guy who's kind of like he'll, he'll book guests for us. He he handles. A lot of our so, some of our social media stuff. He he corrects us on air. He's like our stat guy. Like mm-hmm. as we're on air, our Tony Real if we, if we screw up, he'll like message us like uh, that's not true, or we'll be like Matt, can you look this up? So shout out. He to does Matt. have the best job of all of us. He runs our Instagram page. Yes, where we do a woman of the week. And we, we just he just posts it's just a woman, a, you know, a wrestling each, women. Yeah, oh, okay. Each, each you know. week, there's a different yeah. woman of the Derek, week. We should do that on PBR. Just a woman of the week, just a woman of the right. week, just, just, a random, just a random woman. It could be Hop anybody. on Facebook. Just yeah. <laughs> What's your Ryan? What is your Twitter handle? It's uh, R Y N, and then the word Eagle. Okay, it's, it's incredibly creative. R Y N. Eagle, Eagle. Hashtag, hashtag eggs. All right, so everybody out there, PBR posse, throw eggs, digital eggs at Ryan. <laughs> digital eggs, I'll take them. <laughs> I'm gonna make you digital omelets, <laughs> Ryan. When's the uh, when's the last time you heard the sound? Oh, well, you live in Pennsylvania, so it might have been today. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Man, years ago. What about you, Jim? It's been a long time. Long time. Actually, there- actually, it was probably in April when I was here, or in <laughs> oh, we, we or in a- or in like June when so, I had you guys on my show. So let's do let's do this to uh, to Ryan then, because you've been down this road before. What I does have. this sound like bring back to you? First memories or whatever. Oh, man, I, I don't even know. Really? Just, I mean, it's just waiting, I guess. Just sitting and waiting. <laughs> oh, yeah, That's yeah. good. Just That's waiting. Good. Did you have AOL Instant Messenger? Uh, or yeah, AIM? No, AIM. Yeah, I did. Do you yeah. remember your screen yeah. name? Don't um, say it. Don't say it. Oh, God. No, I don't. You don't remember you don't it? Remember it it, it might have been RYN Eagle. It might have it might have been. I'm, I'm really well, that, generic <laughs> with shit like that. <laughs> well, you didn't, when you, did you have, like, America Online before AOL Instant Messenger? Like no, 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 and I had AIM. You never with had? With the away messages and everything like that? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? No, I never had AOL. I mean, though. I had AOL and then I had AIM. Yeah, right. no, I had AOL first. Yeah. Did we guessed your your name. No, we don't think Might we guessed have. Big Jim's. That thing's. That's Do you remember lot. your screen name? Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't think we did it. No, not, no, we didn't. Real quick. Um. Uh. It's like it, it's probably. I want to say it's something to do. It's it's obviously some of sports or wrestling. I think with it, like your your name, like like I don't know. Wrestle Jim uh, 09 or something. <laughs> Wrestle Jim 98. I was going to say I was I was going to say Big Jim 22. B- Big Jim nah. Big Jim 22. Uh-huh. No. It was it was Irish and then a series of numbers. Cuz I know What were the numbers? Um I know there's a 3 23 and then there's a couple more. I don't remember the last. Random one. numbers? They didn't mean anything? They they were like some of my favorite player numbers. Notre Dame. Okay. He's a huge Notre Dame uh, fan, so Irish, and then like three was a quarterback, twenty three was a running back, and then I think I threw a couple more numbers. Was on that the a back. Brady Quinn? No, he was eight. No, this was this was. That'd be a long, yeah. Brady, Brady Quinn, Quinn was ten. This would have been uh, like Rick Meyer, Ron Paulus. Uh, twenty three was Autry Dent. That was like in the mid nineties. Oh, you and Lisa Varga are a conversation waiting to happen that I don't want to listen to. College football, Notre Dame. Oh yeah, she she right. and I talk about Notre Dame. I actually have to. My wife and I are going out to a game there next fall. For our five year anniversary, we're going there to a Michigan game. We're going to Toronto, the Hockey Hall of Fame. So I gotta, yeah, I gotta talk to Lisa nice about man. that. Um, so <clears throat> that sound indicates the uh, armchair futurist, right? This show is all about the revolution. Pizza and the beer would get you in a room, but we uh, like to talk about the revolution of our guests. So in the year 2050, you guys are sitting back in your recliners. What does your industry look like then? Ooh. Christ, I hope I'm alive. <laughs> the world of wrestling. Um, are we talking professional wrestling? Sure, I, sure. Or, or I mean, we, we or the podcast, all of it, could be, yeah, all of it. Be, yeah, all of it. Like I said, we we've been lifelong friends. Like there was a time in college where I think we hated each other. Oh, that was for, because of my bitch ex girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he admits it. But uh, wait, can we delve into that for a second? Absolutely. What do you mean? Your your bitch ex girlfriend? You just hate his ex girlfriend, or no? no like no, what we, happened? Did you guys break up and she he hooked up with her or something? No, 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 no. Like she, no, we broke up. Yeah, he and I we ended broke up breaking up. up and, and he, <laughs> she, yeah. she, because of her, she didn't like any of my friends. 
and uh because they she said they were a bad influence on me like i yeah. i was a drunk and like everything everything bad that i chose to do on my own she blamed on them yeah so it got to the point where where i moved out like we had we had an apartment with a couple of it buddies. was the biggest fight i mean i, I i'm sure it was about smoking yeah, that was the of big the fight. Cigarettes, of the cigarettes. Yeah, sure. she, she slapped the hell out of me. I, I can still feel it sometimes that the wind yeah, blows the right way. Yeah, she just had a big issue with it. I was a smoker at the time. Um, and, and and I don't know what, he just wouldn't fess up to smoking to her or something. Something like that. Something it, was, stupid. it was something stupid. And I because mean, you held that from her, you were cheating on every yeah, other woman at college. It was, and it was, it was like everything you see in a shitty movie. It, like, it absolutely was. And I'm like, dude, just, just sack up and be like, you're a bitch, and I smoke. Yeah, and um, I wouldn't do it because I was. Af- like, it. I was afraid, and then she found out. She slapped me, and then instead of like just having like nutting up and being like, "Yeah, I did it," I took her side, and I ended up moving out of his apartment. We didn't talk for like two years. Yeah, Jeez. And, uh, and serious stuff. A friend, a friend of ours, a mutual friend of ours that was uh, in the Marines, that was getting ready to go overseas. He was up from. He was on leave from his base. And uh, I was like, hey, you know, I want to go out to the diner with our friend Charlie. He's like, is it all right if Ryan comes? I'd bro- This was at a point where I had broken up with her. We had broken up. And now there's like, no reason at that point for you two to not like. Yeah, he goes, is it cool if Ryan goes? I'm like, look, man, you're you're on leave. You know, I'm cool with it as long as Ryan's cool with it. We went to the diner. I think I sat down. He said like one thing about, oh, I guess you're uh, divorced now. And then that was it. Like we, we never. I guess I've always been a bit of the asshole of the group. And I, I get reminded that every you? time we do shows. <laughs> you, yeah. Ryan Miller? Yeah. 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 Matt, Matt, Matt would attest to it. Like, I'm the one that always gets assy. Yeah, apparently. every month you get assy. Once a month. So, so where where is she now? I don't know. See? I don't even know. What's the point? You guys are still she down. She was hot. Yeah. yeah? I'm not going to lie, though. <laughs> she was smoking. All right. Oh, so you did it for the... Send us a pic. We want to make her the first PBR woman of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Someone dig one up. <laughs> oh, man. So 20, 2050, where so are 2050, we? So uh, 2050, we're probably still talking about wrestling. Like I don't think... We've never grown out of it yet. Does wrestling, does it look the same? I mean, I don't no, know how, it's, I don't know how it's, it could look much different. Well, look, how did it look in 1980? It's quicker. I mean, it's 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 you're not seeing muscly, big, big guys anymore, I don't think. Uh, it's transitions. Is that tra- is that transitioning away already? I think or- it is. Yeah, well, yeah. No, you can yeah. look at something like NXT on the WWE Network. They, these guys are, you know, they're not you know three hundred yeah, pounds. Yeah, it's not just the Ultimate Warrior, muscle. Hulk Hogan. It, it's right. They're not roided up anymore. They're, they're, I mean, they're I don't want to say normal looking guys, but just tremendous athletes. I mean, the guy that's the NXT champion, which is like the WWE's AHL. Okay, uh, is the, I don't even think he weighs two hundred pounds, and he's that he's is there. The, is the Miz still? Yeah, he's still in there. <coughs> oh, Ryan, the Miz. Ryan the loves worst. the Miz. He's the worst. And that guy never never sold me. He is awesome. He never drew a dime for me. Wow. What a joke. Um, what a I, freaking John joke. Cena was in Trainwreck with uh, Amy Schumer, right? Yeah. All right. Now, you're telling me that muscle... He's like freakish. He's, he's a gigantic, freak show. He's man. a freak show. But those guys are becoming less and less. So I don't know, I don't know if that will continue or if it's just going to go like... If it's going to be circular. Like, I mean, I think there was a point... I mean, I just think it's just wrestling's going to keep being innovative, like and and integrate with whatever society and and technology and everything it's doing. Because like, there's a guy now who's like he's he's like arrogant and and it's everything's about him and selfies and this and that. And when he comes to the ring, he has a he has a selfie stick, and it <laughs> and it broadcasts from his phone to the the, the big jo- screen. Yeah, that's great, and it's the first like they're the first to ever do that in in any industry. Mm-hmm. And so, like, they, they try and stay on top of things, but at the same time, it's still good versus evil. Like, wrestling's always going to be good versus evil. Right. And and at the end of the day, you can put all the lights, you can put all the pyro and all of that, but when the bell rings, it's two guys or, you know, two tag teams or whatever in a square with ropes. I think it's going to be, like, a live Oculus Rift type shit. Like, you'll put on those, those goggles, and while you're in your house – and it's live. You could look you around. You be ringside, and you're like you walk over v- virtual okay. reality, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, but it's gonna be live. Like you're like, like how you view it will be different. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's always been good versus evil, but the technology changes. Yeah. Just like reality. And 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 I mean, you know, we we do the we do the weekly podcast, and, and I, you know, obviously you guys do video. We don't do video, so I know we've we've been getting in, we've dipped our toe in the periscope world like we periscoped a little bit on the drive down here so it was pitch black and i, I just oh i saw his headlights just his headlights taillights. i just hold it up to the 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 windshield it's all i did but and we just talked <laughs> but I, you know you we got a face for radio let's be honest we do we have do. a face for radio but i think you know you can integrate 
video and, and you can kind of morph with social media, but I, I don't know that, that podcasting or, or things like that is going to look a whole lot different. There's only so much you can do because there's still, I mean, there's still radio, there's still terrestrial radio or internet radio, but it's still a guy in front of a mic talking. Mm-hmm. Whether there's video or not, it's it, so well, five I, years ago. Who who even thought about podcasting? Right, I mean, we're, right. Mm-hmm. You know, so, so you know, as as long as we want to do it and this stuff with LCW, I mean, it. it we we've always from from the moment we set out doing this, uh, we've always just been like, we'll just kind of go where the wind blows us, and it's been working so far. So, and by wind, you mean Ryan Miller? Yeah, sure. the hot air. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of a blowing joke, but nobody got it. It wasn't good. It, it wasn't was. Uh, good. It wasn't that good. <laughs> it's about as good as that hat you're wearing. Oh. Uh, guys, right. By the way, so everybody knows, I don't hate you at all. I am very happy I, I got to meet you. And this well, was thank you. It was awesome to bust your balls. Thank I, you. I appreciate. I have got, you I've were got awesome. the biggest balls to bust. <laughs> <laughs> that Jim was telling me earlier. But <laughs> that's a whole nother podcast, guys. Thank you so much for coming out. Uh, what do you want to plug on the way out? I will just plug our show, Three Count Thursday, uh, Thursday nights, 9.30 Eastern Time, NGSCSports.com. You want to hit the social media? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, Facebook.com slash Three Count Thursday, uh, Twitter and Instagram at Three Count Thursday. Always the number three, never the word three. Never the so word three. Try to keep it easy for you. Three Count Thursday. Periscope, three three magic count number. Periscope three. Th- I'm three at count Big Thursday. Jim Sports. That's at R-Y-N-E-A-G-L-E, at R-Y-N Eagle. Right on. I don't know what Matt says. Uh, shoot. Go to, you, you can get you can it on all there. of ours. Yeah, he's not even here. Derek D. If you want to see me every day, I host a show called Fast Lane Daily. Go to youtube.com slash Fast Lane Daily. See you later. We Thanks, love you Derek. back. We love you. Never. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>